Alrighty, well, good evening everybody, and I was kind of, um, last, when I was working on, um, when I was working on my uh, blog earlier, I had totally and completely forgotten that, uh, to make a video, to make a video about, about it, because uh, I made a, again, a guy named DJ Screw suggested a new, uh, a new addition to my current, my main build. So, but before I continue on, um, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to play this. I'm going to play this in the background. It's called Stuffed It's called Stuffed Crust. <laughs> called stuffed crust. Sacrificial Slice of All the Blackened Stone. Um, normally, this this music here might get a little too distracting, but I, I, I think this just came in today, so I had to play it. It's just... So... So let me go ahead and rewind it back. So, okay, so, let me start here, um, but, uh, the latest edition that he suggested was, uh, Queen Grapple Pot, and luckily, I had enough resources to make her in the, uh, Soul Forge, but, um, her big one is Second Helping, and since the build I got tends to make a fair amount of 4 and 5 gem matches, this is gonna help against um. Uh, it's gonna help get their life, help get their life up a little bit. You know, I just, you know, cause uh, I've been having kind of a problem with um. Uh, just uh, you know, other any, you know, other enemies' abilities going off and basically one, sh or for all intents and purposes, one shotting my whole entire team. Um, just you know, random spells and whatnot, basically killing them in one hit. So, what I thought I would go ahead, so, he came up with this one here, just, for, and this kind of, this kind of helps too, the extra turn and all that, and, and I've pretty much been going with, um, with almost all goblins now, so I just, I, I kind of don't want my opponent to get that second, to get that second turn, because again, especially considering the kind of content that I'm doing now. I'm usually going straight over here. I mean, unless it's something that... Unless it's something that can really shut down my build, like Elementalist. He's really going to cause a problem for me. I mean, just that alone. So, yeah, then I probably... I'll probably give them a pat. Give it a miss. And, um... And for anybody that asks... Yes, I did. I did have Leprechaun in here. In fact, yesterday's stream, or I should say today's stream. I'm still thinking it's uh, it's Tuesday morning. But anyway, um, I had a, and I did for the early part of my stream. I w I did have him at the bottom. Uh, but the problem is, is kind of the same problem that he has. Yeah, he blows up all the brown gems, but what comes down is totally random. He's got the first turn board blow. But, uh, one, there has to actually be enough uh, green gems on the board in order for it to be worth it. And so, if I don't get anything after it, he gets, a, you know, my opponent gets a turn. So, it, but, um, and secondly, with Leprechaun, he's only really useful just for the first turn board blow. After that, he's dead weight. I mean, I guess maybe the, yeah, I think it's like, it's like maybe one, one extra green mana, but I mean, it, I mean, it might be nice, but I could probably throw in something like Goblin Shaman. Goblin Shaman, which already creates, uh, three green ones, uh, seven green ones, so, and he's a goblin, so I get an extra turn. Uh, good call on his part, because a um, little bit of extra life, and on top of that, she takes yellow mana, so that's that's one less useless color on the board. Now, the only useless color is red. So, and uh, and the, the boost ratio kind of throws, kind of threw me off, I think. 
boosted by ally goblins. Um, last I looked, I'll probably do a demo of this of this build here later on, but it it it's a multiplier of three. So um, it I would have thought that it would have it would have dealt uh, 60 damage, not 29. So I think they kind of need a they need to put a different a different racial number in here. It should just be like plus three per goblin or something. So, uh, but I guess I can go ahead and do a demo of this. And let me. Okay, controller's plugged in. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, too. Um, I've gone back to using a Titan. Uh, in the early part of the stream, I was uh, trying to level my Elementalist, because in PvP, you get 2 XP, not just 1. But it it got painful. Because uh, with an Elementalist, you don't get that 50% mana start like he does. Which means, uh, with this what I got now... I only need one. I just need one to have him lit up. Which is also another reason why I don't have Leprechaun in here. It's just because all he, all I need is one single uh, brown three mash and he's good to go. At least in theory. So I'm, once again to reiterate, because uh, once, once I've used that Leprechaun's uh, exploding ability, he's pretty much useless. I'm not really going to need him, so he just, it's a waste of a slot. Now, now if I had a, if he was my elementalist, which now that I think about it, that's exactly what I did. He was an elementalist and I had a leprechaun at the bottom, but even then it didn't help. I'd have to wait for our elementalist to be, at least be level 40 so he can have a barrier on three matches like rock solid, I think it's called, because otherwise he was getting one shot. Hell. I should probably make a little video clip of it. He actually got one shot by a fucking festival count, of all things. So, yeah, after that happened, I went ahead and shelved the old medalist and put Titan back in its place. I'm gonna that's gonna need more work. So but anyway, let me uh let me press on. Kaboom! Apparently this one here stuns the entire group, so no healing for us. Because, yeah, yeah, goblins are so broken. Okay, and this part, I mean, as much as I love Dungeon Synth and Comfy Synth and all that, this has got to be one of my complaints. It's when they, uh, they intentionally make the, make the, mu the music sound old. You know, have that wacky bravado that... It's just really nerve-wracking. Have a party ball, guys. Okay, so... Eh. Oh, Dragon Guard. I'll bring my cheap ass. I'll, I'll bring my cheap ass goblins to take on this group. Okay, so 
My opponent cannot get another turn. He's got um, he's got that guy up. So he's he's basically egg thief now. Well, I don't know this kind of music was in, was in this album, uh, but uh, this is my very first time listening to this album, so. goes. Oh, got super lucky. Nice to see that I'm not the only person that has to go through that. You literally blow the entire board and then you get nothing. And I might not have had, oh, there's one. Uh-oh. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> His health's already over a hundred. One one. Okay. <laughs> I love the title of this. Hold on. <laughs> this gotta be one other thing I noticed about some of this music. It's like the titles are the titles of the songs are longer than the freaking of the title of the title of the album. That time I ordered a Pizza Hut pizza for a free copy of Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. <laughs> okay, so, but anyway, I just wanted to go ahead and do a do a demo of that. So, but but otherwise, well, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this uploaded and all that. So, but I'll see you all next time. Uh, take care.